everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Let me tell you guys, it is Sunday, and I am feeling very lazy. Uh, took me a nice nap, and I still haven't even uh, started. We got two hours left. I haven't even started the T1 Alpha Arena. Uh, but I did get the other arena done. So we've got OG Thor, and we've got Yellow Jacket, round one. We're going to take a look at those leaderboards. I got those done, so I should be able to get the 11 to 30 percent in uh, both of those. All right, so let's take a look. And uh, well, before we go over there, see, two hours, 14 minutes left. I ain't touched it. All right, let's uh, check it out. Okay, I got the 11 to 30 percent on both of them, and I did get uh, the summoner trials done. Let's start with OG Thor. Now, I have him. I actually chose him from a Nexus crystal. And I was tempted, briefly, to uh, go for the dupe. But no. If I really want him awakened, I can awaken him. And right now, he's still rank one. And the only reason... Uh, to take him up right now, other than just because I, I like Thor, is the Battlegrounds meta currently favors nullifiers, champs that gain armor up, and armor break champions. And he is an armor break champion. So a lot of people were taking him up. A lot of people were going for him in this arena so they could grab him, rank him up, and uh, use him in the Battlegrounds. Still not saying your full name, Harry. So I thought, eh, don't really need to to take up my time. I'm I'm trying to do other things here. Grimlock. Uh, so trying not to grind in the arena. I haven't done a a big major grind for a long time, and there's a reason. What? There's another for Grimlock. Grimlock thirteen. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to get too burned out. I went through a stretch where um, I did some hard grinding for a good four to five champs in a row. And I said, you know what? I need to take it easy. It ain't worth my health. And something else that I was finding out. My crystal openings, which people, you know, still love to watch, weren't as exciting because I was grinding and getting all of these champions. So there was nothing really to look forward to in the uh, crystal openings. So, uh, Brian Perkins, what? Okay. The Perkinator. I have not seen that name in a long time, man. Congratulations. If you see this, leave a comment below. Let me know what your score, uh, your score was. Because you are the cutoff. Um, but let's see who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. Mm, alter. You may have to alter your strategy. So close and yet so far. But anyway, what I was saying was, um, what I started to do was go for featured crystals. And that's what I've been doing lately. Because there's still champs, you know, that I want to get from the uh, featured. I still have some from the basic as well. But the champs that I re I mean really wanted I have. And a lot of them I grinded for Hercules, I grinded for in the arena. Penny Parker grinded for her in the arena. Nimrod grinded for him in the arena. He's still not awakened. I still have not pulled Nimrod from a crystal. Okay? Um I did not grind for Omega Sentinel. I think I got her from a crystal. But in any case, that um, is one of the reasons that I stopped grinding hard for champions. I still go for the five stars, you know, not that much of a grind. But going for the six stars, I'm letting the crystals be exciting again. And keeping myself from burning out. 
Now, there may come a, a champion that I just have to have. Not in the featured yet. And I just have to have them. I want them. Then I might do another uh, grind. But it, it'll be a while. And that champion would have to be really good. Um, not just good. He'd have to be Hercules good. And maybe just my favorite of all time champions, which is already Hulk, who's already getting a rework. So that's not going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know who they could bring in that would make me grind hard for them. I'm not saying that that won't happen, but I don't know who they could bring in. Uh, there's some champions that I want to come into the game, like Cloak and Dagger. Would love to get a Cloak and Dagger. Onslaught. Uh, would love to see Onslaught in the game, you know, um, but who knows? Who knows what'll happen? All right, that's it for uh, the OG Thor leaderboard. Let's take a look at Yellow Jacket. Uh, whoa, time to shine? Number one? Okay. Congratulations, not just for getting the champion, but for getting that title. I'm curious. How many units did it take you to get that rank one spot? I've never gone for rank one. And uh, man, that that's impressive, man. I don't know if you've done that before. I can't remember. Um, but congratulations. All right. We've got uh, another lemon. Agent Lemon. Let's see if we get another lemon to make lemonade. But that that's impressive. You know, when I was setting up my um, live stream, I looked at the uh, profile picture or the, the picture that they had, and I couldn't quite tell. It, it, I was like, I think that's Yellow Jacket. But I wasn't sure. And I was looking it up, trying to find out well, who it was. And then I thought, you know what? The only reason that I want to know who it is is so that I could make a proper title um, for the live stream saying who's you know in it and everything. And then I thought, why make my life more difficult? It's a new year. Why don't I make a more generic title for Arena Grinding and make a, a generic thumbnail, which I can still change up every once in a while, but it doesn't have to be a thumbnail themed to the current arena just you know generic and that's what i'm doing from now on i don't care who it is coming up i'll be able to set up my stream and then the only thing that i'll need to set up after it goes live will be the cutoff i'll need to you know do the the profile pictures there and all of that so um that that's just gonna save me uh, a lot of time. They go that fat skadoosh, madman. Congratulations on that yellow jacket. You know I don't know. Do I have yellow jacket? Wait, what? <laughs> Fifty nine. Congratulations, man. Um, I don't know if I have a six star yellow jacket. I may not. I have the five star, but I, I may not have the uh, six star. Not one of the champions that I'm going for, especially not in this arena. Not doing it. Um, if I pull him out of a crystal, great. Um, if I already have him, great. But, um, yeah, not, not, it's going to take a, a special champion to get me to grind. Not in this arena, because if he comes to this arena, I'm a wait. I'm a um, open crystals. And if I can't get him that way, I'm going into the arena. Um, it's going to take a special champion for that to happen. Culty, congratulations. All right. And CPC, boy, boy, you are the last one to get this yellow jacket from this arena as a six star. So now let's see who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. Haramika. Oh, man. And I see your name often on the leaderboards. It happens to quite a few people. So close and yet so far. 
But the good news is it's only round one. And you now have a better um, shot for round two because you have a better idea of what score you need to go above. You know, since you were right close to the cutoff, go again, put up another 20 mil, you know, and, and, and hope for the best. Papito. Uh, let's see who else we got. Big Turp. I think I saw Dark Side of the Moon on, on the other leaderboard, too. Double dipping. Cool, cool. I'm a fan of that. If uh, I didn't have, uh, you know, all the champions as five stars, I'd be double dipping. I'd be going for the five star here and the five star there. And some of you who have been with me for a while remember how much I grinded. I gr Any champion I didn't have, I was going for. You know, round one, I went for the five star. Round two, I went for the six star. ID Slim. Congratulations. Shadow with the awesome name. I might be biased a little bit. But yeah, I grinded, grinded, grinded to get my roster to where it is. If you haven't seen the um, video I put out uh, earlier this month uh, on my account tour, check it out. Uh, I go through my account. I, I show you uh, my champions. And I even talk about the uh, some of the rank ups that I did. Uh, and the kind of reasoning and logic behind it. So definitely check that out. Alter. 99. Hold on. Wasn't, uh, was that in the other? Okay, that was in the other one. Um, but I don't remember if that was the same Alter. Alter 99. I might check that real quick. Um, but it looks like uh, he was double dipping and just missed. Let's get back to where we were. Or are you alter? There you are. All right. Yamamoto and bad boy. What you going to do? X10 Army. City boy. Yep, I'm a city boy. All right. Um, now, just before I leave, let me check real quick my memory see if if i was uh remembering correctly yep i was right so he was 101 over in this arena um so he got the five star in both but i know he wanted that uh six star in this one so uh but next round you have a good shot all right, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit the like button. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what score you put up, what ranking you got. It is especially important during round one because people do come by and check out the comments to see if they can get an idea of what the cutoff is um, in case none of the other YouTubers had anyone communicating that to them. Uh, I don't know what the cutoff is. No one has told me any information, Brian Perkins, um, he can leave a comment or, or something like that and let us know exactly what the cutoff is, uh, at least in that arena. All right, so take care and you all have a blessed day.